Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Randy that just topped 16 at our pro play Las Vegas with Shenron, but interesting. Tell me about it. All right, so uh, today I was using Shenron, uh, Gogeta specifically. Um, I felt like the deck had a good matchup against uh, especially a lot of the red-yellow. Um, you'll see in a bit why I thought it was good because it basically wouldn't allow my opponent to use their cards. But uh, anyways, we'll get into it. So I played the seven Dragon Balls. Um, I tried out the seven Star Ball, but it was okay in some matchups, but then I just found out the draw power was, was just uh, too good, pretty much. I played uh, one Shenron uh, Figure of Majesty. Didn't use it the whole tournament, but I figured it, it might come in useful if I needed to get my Gogeta crit instead of uh, um, you know just going for uh, damage. We play three objection, not four. Uh, your deck's gonna be you're gonna be flying through your deck, so at some point you're gonna see objection, and you want to do a turn two or three, uh, ideally, um, just so you can get into your Gogeta play turn uh, four. Uh, my favorite card of the tournament was Bingo, Tournament Grand Prize. Uh, so this card is you use one yellow, you play it, your leader gets 5k, and then you can pull a Dragon Ball from your life, or from your uh, drop or your uh, deck. So all those leader swings that are coming at 10k, easily get over it, grab a ball. If you need to grab one just to awaken quicker, you can do it that way. Otherwise, I'm always going to pull from the drop, just because you want to get as much value off your leader as possible. Ran two Nimbus, mostly for the uh, baby matchup. Just try and slow them down a little bit. If you can get it off uh, turn three, going into turn four, usually you're pretty okay. Uh, only face two babies all day. For the super combos, play three of the Champa of the Tricksters. Uh, this card came in clutch a lot. Play three of the uh, Beerus Pickle God for the blue yellow. Uh, energy. Two of the Uri uh, Sun Goku Unstoppable. I play two of my Mutai Tito. Uh, two Sensu Bean. Probably should have had a third or maybe four. Uh, two of the SSB Vegeta. Um, kind of its nice thing is you, you swing with it, you burst five, and you restand it. It's a barrier double strike. So if someone's uh, taking life early, you can technically play this, you swing, you burst, and then you give your triple attack. Uh, didn't come uh, didn't come into play this weekend, but I like the option. Two at all cost Vegeta's. Play three of the Gogeta Hero Revived, it's the MVP. Uh, two of the Mafubas. How good was that this, this week? Uh, it came in huge against the baby decks. Okay. Um, there's a few of like boss monsters you might be worried about. This card is huge. Oh, wow. um, came, I used it quite a bit this weekend. I played two of the SS3 Son Goku, uh, pushing forward. I never used its uh, auto, but it was nice to have the option if I needed to get, just easily get rid of something on the board. Three personal ambition. Uh, four, they, I tend to notice they got a little cloggy, at least in this version of the deck. Um, but three was perfect because usually I would come across it before awakening. Two Zeno button, really nice with the deck for a couple more, uh, couple more weeks. And then also the last card was Finish Art and Mystery. So this card, a lot of the times I would just go Gina and I would uh, just basically pass. And then or, uh, I would use my leader to personal ambition to restand the energy so I'll be, uh, have some defense. And then you just drop through the next turn. Like you give your you a triple attack first, and then you drop the food. And then your opponent, there's only a few cards that they're going to be able to respond and actually do to stop his effect. Um, it happened in the top 16. But uh, yeah, most of the time I dropped him, it was game, because we're not going to be able to out combo basically three triple attacks and then a double strike if I need it. That's true. Oh, that makes sense. And what about sideboard? You got a spicy sideboard? Uh, I heard one card was really good. Sideboard, let's see. Uh, one sideboard, I did do the Secret Rare Dragon Ball's negative energy. I only used it in the last the last matchup and uh, didn't get to use it. But it was nice if like people were trying to build a board and weren't paying attention and I could, you know, with Zeno button, you know, you just need a couple cards, a couple battle cards in there and this becomes easily 
easy to use. I <laughs> uh, did have two uh, Jockos, so it was mostly for you know the apes if I saw them. Um, didn't end up helping me in the last round, but it could come in huge just to slow them down. I put in two sensor beans. Um, basically, the matchup if I was going up against a little more aggro, I would definitely add these two in there. Um, it was just dead against some of the, uh, like if I end up in this another Shenron, um, but I didn't see any all day. I also had two Frost Deadly Poison, just, I didn't end up using it, but I figured it'd be a good side in case I really wanted it. Um, just for the heat attack. Two Crusher Ball, I, use, I would side these in against the babies, um, just as an extra way to slow them down. That's smart. Two of the Power Power Blumgas, I did end up using them, but it was just another option if I needed to get rid of uh, someone's board. Uh, two for the Dark Beginning, not the Dark Banisher. Uh, I didn't end up signing up the whole or sign the whole tournament, but I figured if I was going against something aggro rather than the Foo or the uh, Shadow Mystery Foo, I would just sign up these and then drop it. A little easier to cast. And then also two Crisis Crushers uh, came in handy against a lot of the Beeruses that were running one drops. Uh, and, uh, you know, you just pop one of their one drops, and then uh, if they don't KO it with their, with their Whis, you just combo by the way, because they're going to get rid of it. That's true. I got it. Well, did you have a good time here at Pro Play Tour? Uh, I had a blast. It was the uh, first time I probably like, got over the bubble into the top 16, and I barely did it. So I was very excited about that. So. That's awesome. Do you have any shout outs? Uh, yeah, shout outs to all the AZ guys. Um, we're from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, special shout out to Jose, who let me borrow the uh, UI. Uh, Goku's. Oh, those are important. So, yeah. <laughs> They're expensive. So. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. All right, brother. Well, again, thank you for joining us, and thank you for your deck profile. Until next time. Yeah.